Hey guys, Henry with Henry Bites Homes here. Um, I want to start putting some free content out for you guys. Um, you know, we can share some tactics and strategies with each other. I love doing that. I love that. I love networking with people that way. So, um, what I'm going to cover just kind of in a very short video here is um, how I do business with cash buyers on the assignment and the wholesaling side of my business, um, especially if you're dealing with a cash buyer that you've never done business with before. Um, you're vetting them, you know, you're not sure how serious they are. Um, earnest money is usually the way to lock stuff up, but I have a little something extra that I put in my contracts. Um, normally, when you have escrow money involved and it goes to the title company, they lock their contract up with you that way. Um, if they fail to perform or they decide they need to back out, usually you have to have uh, a release of escrow agreement signed by both you and the buyer. But... Uh, I learned from a, a mastermind that I went to recently that you can actually put in the contract on the assignment side or the purchase and sale agreement side when you double close um, that that escrow agreement or I'm sorry that that earnest money can be released to you uh, with just your approval um, and not requiring the buyer's signature. You can put that in your assignment contract um, and if they agree to it then you can get that earnest money back if they fail to perform on the contract. So. That's just a little great nugget. Um, I know some other investors who actually make, they make some money that way, a, a good amount of it because their buyers just fail to perform or for whatever reason they decide not to move forward with the transaction. So I wanted to show you guys how my contract is set up, just what the verbiage looks like. Um, it'd be better if you can just see it on my video screen. So let's just take a look and see what that looks like. So you can see here in my um, assignment contract template that I've, I've built, um, you go down here on my earnest money section, um, I've got uh, a non-refundable earnest money clause with a zero day inspection period. That's pretty typical for any deal that I wholesale. Um, I tell them just to go look at it beforehand because I don't want, um, I don't want them tying it up unless they're serious and they know they want it and they've seen it and they've done their due diligence on it. Um, but a little, uh, a little something extra that I put in here that I was talking about is um, if the buyer fails to close, um, they have to agree to forfeit that earnest money to me as their assigner uh, without a signed release of escrow agreement. So that basically puts the power in your hands to get the earnest money back um, if they fail to close on the property or on the uh, on the contract. Um, so just a little nugget, you know, I thought I'd throw that out there. You guys can be using this in your contracts. You know, just make sure uh, make sure that you can in your state. Um, but you know, everything's negotiable in real estate. Just remember that. So you can add these and, you know, it's mutually agreed upon, especially in writing. Um, it should work just fine for you guys. I know, I know some other big time investors who, believe it or not, make a lot of money this way just uh, from people failing to perform on the contract. So just a little something extra for you guys today. Uh, be looking forward uh, to some more content that I'm going to put out on some way, different nuggets that I, uh, I like to share in my business, the way I do business. Um, please like. And subscribe to my channel if you're interested in getting more, uh, more valuable content that I like to put out for free for you guys. Thanks a lot, guys.